All right, and now here's the uh, the A10 5745 under volt under voltage A10. Right now at this vantage point, it's getting uh, 12 frames per second. The weird thing is, it's a lower frame rate, but it's more consistent. So I don't know why that is. And then also the the video quality, even though it says it's a lower frame rate, the uh, like you can read the names from a further distance, so it's it's kind of interesting, uh, and also the the video sync seems to work better. Um, so like as I'm turning around, even though it's low frames, it's like a pretty consistent uh, response. So unfortunately. Uh, yeah, the integrated processor on the on the i7 is it, it gets higher frame rates, but the it seems that the experience is a little better with a, with a low end video card still. I mean, well, the the quality of the textures and stuff look better, but anyway, so I mean. I don't know. I think my point. So yeah, it goes down to twelve frames per second right here. But uh, on the integrated Intel, it seems to drop down to like like one frame per second, but it doesn't show up that way. So uh, and these are the exact same settings, and. For some reason, it looks better on the integrated APU versus the Intel. But, I mean, yeah. So it really depends what you're doing. If you want to play video games, obviously uh, an A10 is probably a good way to go versus the integrated Intel. Unless you're going to spend a little extra and get the the dedicated graphics with the the i7 so it really depends on how much you want to spend and I'm I'm impressed with both laptops like I guess technology isn't stagnant I guess <laughs> alright see you later